Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of this beautiful mod. We are running in month number 3 and I wanted to show you some stealth gameplay. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to may or may not uh, pull off uh, stealth gameplay. Um, I am still not 100% sure if it's going to be a good idea to do that. Um... The main reason is that both of these uh, characters, I like them, but they are probably too low level to uh, to pull off the run. And 16 to 18 enemies make it very, very difficult for us to infiltrate and and play according, uh, accordingly. So I'll still do it, but it might be the shortest missions uh, that you've uh, seen so far, because maybe we are just forced to uh, evac out from the get-go. Um, my main problem here is, due to the high vigilance, the evac uh, takes six turns, so we got to do that f right from the get-go um, to essentially guarantee that we at least can get out of here. Good. Moving into the um, actual map, the core idea of stealth gameplay is that you do have one stealthy character and either another one who supports that character or who does something um, uh, because the stealth character enables him. Uh, normal stealth missions or that are run in a stealthy fashion are jail break missions, but you can theoretically also do the same here with de uh, destroy the relay. And the main question whether or not this mission is going to be successful is can we reach this relay from a far far away point somewhere down here we're going to find out uh, what the answer for that particular question is going to be if it's yes I'm on the move. then the whole mission might be successful if the answer is no then we're going to get out of here we need to hurry so we only got 13 turns and what I, since I know the building blocks of the maps quite well, um, this here is the typical starting shape with an L uh, that goes on uh, with the typical sewers. Uh, what, this room here can be populated differently but uh, this L here, uh, you will see that often in missions a lot of uh, enemies are actually patrolling along these, uh, these L coordinates. And in order to shoot into this area, you got to have a free line of sight, um, which essentially runs down the, the very cor uh, corridor. So we got to stand either here, 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 or here in order to see uh, the target back there. If that's possible, great. If that's not possible, then uh, let's get out of here. Also, like I said, since we do have um, only such a limited... Uh, or such a long timer uh, to get out of here. I will essentially break stealth uh, with our sniper very soon in order to uh, th already throw the evac flare. Normally you are doing stealth missions because you you can infiltrate them uh, so that the baseline is really 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 low. In our particular case that didn't really work out because we let's be real the only reason why we did the stealth mission is 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 because we couldn't do it in a different uh, in a different way um let's see what they are going to do i don't want to pincer myself here uh, into the corner And this is already where part of the difficulty comes from. We hopefully outside of their view. Get an evac in here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Yeah, we can leave him where he is. Currently don't need him to go anywhere. He just needs to stay out of line of sight. The most important part about uh, stealth mission is to manage line of sight really, really well. 
And if that does not work, um, you essentially got to do something different. For instance, not play stealth missions or evac and just get out of here. So it's a real possibility that this mission here, despite me doing everything correct, um, still could fail. So we got 16 enemies. It's again a real possibility that they might be somewhere down there. Volk says I am to obey. I've spotted an alien patrol. So we don't want to show ourselves because they do have gigantic vision range. We still got a few turns to to pull this one off, but we got to be careful. So we will uh, use a detonation over here, basically to. Uh, to ri uh, raise their interest. Just needs to be far away from the actual target. We're going with Ghost Walker now. This round and the next. The detection radius of everything will be lower. We can now see um, where they are and you know hopefully this year when we're triggering it next turn will motivate them to investigate we need to position ourselves at least here And now comes the little bit more dangerous part. You got to make sure that none of these guys is interfering with what we're trying to do. That's really good. The other pack is dangerous. They are moving in the wrong direction. These guys here move in the exact correct direction. As you can see, uh, if you have marked the, uh, the packs beforehand, of course, that increases and that increases um, your chance of doing these missions. Like I said, we're currently doing it with uh, two essentially squatties. Are you shitting me? I can't see the target. Still cannot see the target. If I could, would allow me to holo target it. Okay, I'll give it one more try. Super dangerous to stand that far out. Okay, we're hunkering down. Okay, this is tense, really, really tense. Gotta find the right angle. There is no side obstruction, but maybe it's it's the wrong shooting angle. An alien scouting party. 
and that drone might as well become a problem. Okay, so now we can see the target. We now need to have a few really, really solid shots. before we get the F out of here. As long as they haven't spotted us, no combat means no reinforcements. Holding in place. We dealt maximum damage, clearly with a, be a better weapon. Um, that here would be easier. But to be honest, I wasn't sure if we were getting uh, the operative spec and a laser weapon is worth uh, 20 plus alien alloys. So... Uh, didn't entirely want to waste that. This drone here is going to be dangerous. Come on, buddy, don't, don't fly into our direction. We don't want to explore the sewers here. So far everything is working well. We are being um, we are being basically hold in place. So the one thing that we can do, uh, I was about to say, is to shoot our um, our decoy. Should have probably thrown it over here. So we're going to hunker down one more turn until. And uh, Ghost Walker. These guys here suspect nothing. You can see they are not even on alert. The main problem is the drone. And the correct play now, in case you're wondering, would have been to remote hack the drone and essentially. Uh, fuck. To remote hack the drone and essentially uh, make sure that it that it um, would be shut down. This is Firebrand. Time to go. We would have needed two more turns. Too bad, too bad. They're all over this position. Uh, I I was very competitive and almost wanted to get it, but I think uh, mm, retreating here is the right call. Come on, miss. Okay, I'll go. Going into full cover. Dragunov is in a tough spot there. I need a more Luckily, they don't understand that we are about to retreat. And luckily, we're in full cover.
Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Dragonova will recover next turn. We're going to re-stealth Ghost Walker and we'll be out of here. Okay, Dragon Hour, come on. Let's get out of here. I am thinking, I know how the stealth uh, of her works in normal XCOM, there I would just need to go here, stealth, and be gone with it. But the drone has specifically high levels of, um, of perception. Move over here. In short order. Double move. Well, he gets an overwatch as well. The drone probably needs to double move. Okay, time for Shadow. And time for a Ghost Walker. Which means we're still unfortunately visible but it might reduce their chance of actually hitting with uh, the overworld shots and that guys was uh, how a stealth mission might turn out uh, if you're not really really careful I wouldn't call it a poor performance, it was just really difficult to pull off. We almost got it. 6, 6 and 4. Um, it's, it could have been one shot short of actually killing it. I still think they get a little bit of mission XP. Lightly wounded for three days, but yeah, did not get a promotion out of it. Yeah, that was misleading. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Not the best outcome. I wish it would have been a better mission, but sometimes you also gotta lose. It's another three days mission, guys, for a scientist. I mean, I like you, but how is that supposed to work? Let's double check if I can uh, get something uh, working.
Yeah, no chance. I don't want another low um, infiltration uh, stealth mission. I showed you the gameplay. I personally don't find it very attractive. And a lot of uh, Long War before Long War 2 was revamped uh, and reworked. Long of, uh, a lot of Long War uh, 2 originally was all about getting uh, stealth missions in because it was uh, there were the way that it uh, worked before i think they reworked it in patch 1.3 um, was that small teams were incredibly good in infiltration and uh, many of the missions you you found them so late even with everyone on intel and scientists and scanning you found them so late that there were only like three days, um, two days left uh, left over. So you were either forced to skip them altogether or in many cases do the stealth run. Um, we could now go for magnetic weapons, but we need... But we need uh, money for it. Although I would... Most of my involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side. So, in order to get money, we're going to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. You know, we need 50, so might as well make it uh, make it count. We're getting thin on uh, corpses, but the research is actually quite important. So here we go, magnetic weapons. That is tier three firepower. And only 22 days uh, in order to get it. So that shows that we're pretty okay on the scientist department. Uh, once we once we get the next mission going and have everyone infiltrating the remaining missions, um, we can put the scientists on research again. Let's see, is it uh, this time a decent mission? Six days? Yep. Counter a hidden event? That's exactly what we would want to do. Yes, please. Let's see whom I can find. So, I'm having problems finding enough people for the mission. However, there is a solution to that. Um, because in one day, uh, a specialist, uh, Lance Corporal, is getting back in action. And we also have another Shinobi uh, coming up with her jammer training in just a little bit more than a day. So once uh, she's ready, we field a squad, a squad of uh, six people and uh, we'll still do it. Uh, we'll still be fine. So that, that would be five days something hours. Good enough. There's another mission. Look at that. One day, 10 hours, we're not even going to bother with that. So there is... There is the potential... Um, there is the potential soldier. With that soldier, we would still be at 113. Might as well switch the rookie for uh, for a uh, real soldier. And uh, the question is, do we want to give up a day uh, of Gemmer training to get Igor in, or are we happy with that constellation, with this constellation here? 
it's difficult to say because um, these guys here are really really poorly equipped let me see what the best equipment is that i could get for all right, a little bit of an unor unorthodox uh, approach here, but I think we can do it upon really thinking through it. We will uh, infiltrate it pretty well to uh, keep the baseline at very light. We got to get her uh, in as a rookie. Normally she should be in, uh, in training to become a ranger, but since we only have two rangers in our roster, she will automatically become a ranger because that's the most understaffed um, class at the moment and the game will give you exactly that um, so I'm essentially okay with her taking this year as a training stay if you if you so will um, we had a bit of a shortage of laser weapons so Bob Ross um, will essentially be the one carrying a laser weapon and we're going in with uh, two um, uh, specialist which by far is not the uh, best way of doing it but um, once again if you send in the E team there is only so much um, left and uh, these guys here are yeah not particularly well equipped nor very experienced but they have an important mission and I still think that they can uh, pull it off Good. Now, since we got all, everyone in an infiltration, it's time to essentially start changing the strategy again. And instead of intel, everyone is going for supplies. We have more missions uh, than we could uh, that we could have hoped for, and almost all of the missions that could have spawned are now exhausted. Good. Let me put everyone here on supply. Done. Good. Everyone here is on supply. Now, same for Southern Africa, where we need to... I mean, we have everyone on Intel, but I think also... Yeah, gosh, we have, we have all of the missions, so might as well go for supply. Good. By doing the full supply um, focus, we would get an income of 300. It's interesting. I don't think that we're uh, that we will get anywhere near that. And these here are still missions that pop up. Uh, an engineer, but unfortunately only two days. That's really a, a very, a very very nice mission. The reward is super good but we don't have any manpower to follow up on it. Hmm, extract the VIP. Corporal Ranger for five days. Let's see. So that's the new mission. Forty-three percent infiltrated. Thirty-seven percent. Yeah, we're. No, we can't do that. We haven't even started that mission. We haven't started that mission either. And if we were to start now, look at that. I mean, 
yeah, it's only 10% infiltrated, so what you expect. And we can't start this one prior to 100%. Yeah, it's a shame. Commander, I've recently been made aware that we have at least one member of the science team who is currently awaiting an assignment. We should have our science staff assigned to facilities to maintain an efficient operation. So that's a good point. Uh, thank you. I changed, but I did not assign the scientists back. Which, with the scientists assigned, we al uh, almost halved uh, the magnetic weapon um, timing. So we're, we can continue th uh, that. We just need a few more scientists. Four days, one hour. Prevent the resistance data leak. Yeah. That's great. Uh, but... No. That's cool as well, but we noticed uh, the event way too late. One day, 16 hours. Yeah. We don't even have the team to do a 0% uh, 0 infiltration version of it. We're not there yet. So in terms of... In terms of officer training school... No one's ready at the moment. In terms of general uh, staff availability... Gosh, look at that. Still so many people wounded. Yeah, we got two, and that's about it. There we go, finally, our A-team is done with uh, the securing the Advent Network Tower. And I want to use that option in order to directly start it. Which will be a pretty decent mission. Uh, 18 enemies, um, and we are going in with only 5 of us. So that's gonna... It's going to be interesting, but we have absolute excellent gear and really highly leveled soldiers. So that's going to happen in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had liked uh, the stealth uh, gameplay, although we haven't been fully successful. I think it was still um, interesting to see. Uh, we have a lot of missions queued up for the next few episodes. Thank you so much for uh, the interest. And if you liked it, leave a comment down below and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.